Hello, Jennifer Tochi here with things that are flopped up and, but I don't care because I have been tagged and this makes me happy. Yes. Hey, Internet Eric here, one of my friends, um, tagged me on the 10 for 10 tag. Uh, 10 movie genres, and in each one, you pick your favorite out of each one. Ugh. And so I started doing it. And I was kind of surprised at how I picked it. Because <laughs> I was sure I was going to pick one thing, you know, and then I thought, huh, I'm, I, th I think I like something better. So here it goes. And he got tagged by Night Watch Zone to do this. So, number one is a foreign or martial arts film. And when it comes to foreign, the only one I know are those Italian horror movies. And I didn't want to do one of those. And then that one Swedish movie called Dandelions I have with Rutger Hauer before he started making other kinds of movies. <laughs> so I picked Martial Arts. 2003's Unleashed. Yes. I love this movie. Jet Li is amazing in it. Um... Morgan Freeman, amazing in it. Um, Bob Hoskins, you know, you, I would, I thought Bob Hoskins can't be a mean guy, but he's an asshole in this movie, and I love this movie. It's, it could be drama, it could be action, you know, but I picked it for martial arts, yes. Now, mystery one, maybe I went a little mystery, a little far, farther away from the mystery than I should have, but I don't care. This is a movie I wanted to watch last night, and I said, hmm, there's a mystery in this show, and man, it's got the best. Um, title song in the world where the girls say shut your mouth yes and that's shaft yes I consider this to be a mystery the original shaft not that reboot yes good old Richard Roundtree and um, how can you go wrong with Isaac Hayes singing those songs he does in that movie. It's a good mystery movie, I think. Okay, number three is either a Western or adventure movie. And, of course, I'm going to go Western. Up there on my wall, I've got a picture of John Wayne in wood. <laughs> yeah, so I love John Wayne movies. I love John Wayne, but my brain was kind of going... Maybe I like Clint better, Clint Eastwood. Maybe I like Dean Martin better, but no, I kept going back to John Wayne. And it's 1971's The Cowboys. Yes. Yes, everybody. And it's based in Montana, oh, where I live. Yes. He has a bunch of guys run off when he's about to bring his thousand head of cows and horses across the Montana and they all run away because somebody says we found gold in the river and all the guys leave so he goes to the school and picks up a bunch of boys yeah I found this at the thrift store and they haven't taken they hadn't taken off the plastic yet. And I wanted to keep the plastic on. So, yeah. A little... 
little um little glare off of there but and this is the first movie for Robert Carradine I believe he's uh, right there on my wall from Revenge of the Nerds yes so that was that's my favorite western okay drama and this is a reach too <laughs> I find this movie very dramatic, but there's also a lot of action in it. But it's my choice. I cry every time I watch it. Um, yes, I do. Um, it's about war, you know. Christopher Walken's in it. Nineteen seventy-eight movies. Deer Hunter. Yes, I picked that as a drama. Drama. Because every time I watch this movie, I go through... Oh, I go through a dramatic... I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm crying. I'm saying, why, Christopher Walken? Why do you have to do that? Why? I love this thing, too. I can open this up and show this. <laughs> This is the first movie I saw where Christopher Walken is singing and doing his dancing. But, oh my goodness, be prepared if you haven't watched this movie yet to, if you're a crier, to cry. <laughs> okay, next one. Happy, happy again. And that is a comedy. 1987 and it is summer school yes one of my favorite movies you know and this movie i only liked comedies and then i saw this movie with good old dave and chainsaw his friend chainsaw who are obsessed with texas chainsaw massacre and that's when I saw my second horror movie and began to love horror. But this movie is my favorite comedy. How can you go wrong with, with a bunch of weird kids, a stripper, a guy who sleeps during the day because he's a stripper, and poor Mark Harmon having to teach the summer school kids chasing after christy alley and here's wonder mutt yeah this is an awesome movie yes i love this movie okay a thriller again i'm going a little comedy thriller <laughs> it thrills me every time i watch it and that is where I'm at. Okay. 1975 Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know it, it could be a comedy. It could be sci-fi. But I love this movie. And it thrills me. Yes. Touch, 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 touch me. I want to get dirty. <laughs> Okay, um, yes. The next movie genre is fantasy. And my son has stolen it off my, off my table and has taken it to Grandma's house. So I don't have my copy of it right now. But doesn't everybody know it? It's Labyrinth with good old David Bowie. Jennifer Conley. Yeah. This, this, I love this movie. Yes. Um, it's just, it's just a great movie. And, and how couldn't you love all those? The Goblin King, you know? Oh, I love the movie. And I know, I know, I know, I tend to tease a lot about David Bowie's outfit, but 
because he does look hot in it. But this movie's great. You know, how can you go wrong with Bluto? Yeah. And just all that singing. One time, my son, I was in the middle of Walmart, and um, my son was, I went into a seizure, the kind where I just walk around, and um, my mom was watching this. I don't even remember this happening, and um, I, um, I guess my son said, uh, you remind me of the babe. And during the seizure, I said, what babe? And he said, the babe with the power. And I went and walked back to him instead of walking away from him. <laughs> so that always has a funny story around it. Okay, next is action. And I pick a Rutger Hauer movie. Yes. Stallone and Rutger Hauer, they do very good in this movie. Nighthawks, you know. <sighs> you made in 1981. We've also got Billy D. Williams in it. And, ooh. Rutger Hauer, yes. Um I I'm never I'm never the biggest, biggest, biggest fan of Stallone, unless it's certain movies like First Blood and stuff like this, but I love this movie. And no, it's not just because of Rucker Howard. Okay. Sci fi, sci fi, sci fi. Stanley Kubrick's 1968 movie, 2001 A Space Odyssey. I love this movie too. But this was more sci-fi than, than, the, than the other one. I picked this as my favorite. 1968. It came real close to Planet of the Apes, the original. But didn't hit it. <laughs> okay, and number 10. Horror. <laughs> yes. This is due to summer school. Yes, the second horror movie I watched. And, um, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Not that reboot or anything. Yes, where you get to see that picture. Yes, I got this at the video store long ago leading edge video <laughs> yes the cut out movie yeah so that was my it still is my favorite horror movie <laughs> so there is my 10 for 10 tag thank you eric for tagging me. Hope you've been enjoying my narwhal <laughs> pen <laughs> that's been fluffing around here. I'm a hand mover, what can I say? And it seems like everybody else I know has already been tagged that I would like to tag for this. So I don't know who to pass it on to. Um so sorry. <laughs> But thank you so much for taking me, and I hope you enjoy. Goodbye.